So the Lord God said to the snake, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock and all wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. To the woman, he said, I will make your pains in childbearing very severe. With painful labour you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband and he will rule over you. To Adam, he said, because you listened to your wife and ate fruit from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil you will eat food from it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you will eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow you will eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you are taken. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. Adam named his wife Eve, because she would become the mother of all the living. The Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. Twenty twenty has been a year of waiting. Waiting for symptoms to develop or clear up. Waiting for lockdown to end. Waiting for a vaccine. Waiting for life to return to normal. As humans, we're not very good at waiting. And that's probably particularly true of 21st century humans in the West. We live in a world of free credit, on-demand streaming and next day delivery. In fact, we live in an economy that teaches us every day that having to wait is bad. And so we take every opportunity to avoid waiting. And for those moments when there's really no alternative, we turn to our smartphones to escape even having to look at the person beside us in a queue. Given the mood of our culture, you might be surprised to hear that the church makes a special point of practising waiting. Advent is the church's season of waiting, when we remember the long wait for the Messiah, and we continue to wait hopefully for his return. Today's scripture reminds us that humankind has been waiting for a very long time for life to be put right. Whether you believe that this story is a literal historical record or a parable to communicate truths about ourselves and the world, the point still stands. The list of things wrong with the world is much longer than Covid and it goes back much, much further than this year, right back to the beginning of history. And right from the beginning, God has let us know that he has a plan to right the wrongs of the world, to crush the head of the serpent. That plan began with the long-awaited birth of Jesus, which we will celebrate soon at Christmas and it will be completed when Jesus returns again. So let's recommit ourselves today to putting away distractions and waiting with God this Advent. May he open our eyes to see what he is still doing in the world in this time between the first and second appearances of his Messiah.